Hey there, boys and girls and fellow barn animals. Um, I've been promising this video for a while, so I'm going to show you my office organization and my workflow real quick. Sorry, I'm doing a cough drop. I still have either allergy or cold or whatever. It's bugging the hell out of me. Anyway, when I buy stuff from for eBay or Amazon, its first stop is here underneath this table, my photo table. Um, let me get the light adjusted here. And this bucket here, but it's kind of overflowing because, yeah, this is Monday and I have the weekend. You can see all the stuff here. This is all stuff I need to work on. Now, I was going to put it in this other bucket as well, but I've decided, as you know, I still have one item here. As I process them, if it's going to FBA, I'm going to list it on FBA right away, get it all ready to go, and put it in this bucket. And generally when this bucket is full, I will ship off stuff to Amazon, the FBA. And for eBay, I'll process it up, clean it up, or whatever it needs to. I got this table here, which is my photo. I do everything on that table, plus the table over there. Um, I process things up. And then I'll take photos here. Um, I'll run it over here. I move my scale to this little table I stole from my studio. Um, there's the readout. I moved it over here. It used to be over there, but I moved it over here because it's my desk. And so I can weigh things easily here. And when I list it on eBay, I can then put the calculated weight on my computer. Ignore the mess. Ignore the mess. Um, so it's just easier. I can throw it on there to weigh it and put the calculated weight for eBay. And then I will put the item, I'll, if it's a part or something, I'll use my handy dandy fit food saver there to bag it. Nice and clean and bagged for the buyer. And then I will put it in a box. This box is backwards. Let's see if I can move it around one-handed. So I have all these boxes here. I was doing the tubs underneath the desk, but it got to be a pain in the butt to uh, try to dig through the tub to find the item. And Banker's box kind of fill my ADD. They're nice, uniform sizes. It looks nice. So I feel better. It's clean. So I will put it into a box, mark with a letter, and then I'll input that into the listing on eBay and I'll jump on the computer here in a minute and show you that where I do that. There's two places you can do that at. I also have a pie here. I have these bins. These are all game parts. These three. And I'll probably get a couple more soon. And I don't have them marked with a letter or a number yet because I kind of there's only three. I kind of know where to go. But eventually as I get more I'll probably start labeling those with little letters or something. This is all the little pet shops I have listed. They're all bagged individually. My bunkies, I have a lot. But, so, I know where to go. And then I have miscellaneous, well, I have my Legos there, conveniently marked in a Lego bucket. So that's all my uh, lot bags of half pounds and my specialty pieces. I have ink cartridges here. And I have all my remotes here. So I kind of know where to go. And then I just have miscellaneous games around for now same thing down here these are items won't fit in the box this is a box that i haven't really identified yet it's got some craft stuff and whatever i still need to go through that and then some bigger items down below that i won't fit in the box vcrs i'm down to my last vcr now i'll take the back i have a blu-ray player up there these are things I still need to piece out, so they're still on the table. Legos I need to go through. And this is all stuff I still have to go through here. I kind of shove them on the shelf. I like it. They're just Legos, Bionicles. I might have sold that today, but it's to a Russian. It hasn't paid yet. Game instruction, game boards, more Bionicles up there. So yeah, I still have to go through that and get those listed. And I have a pile of crap here. I'm trying to get cleaned up my mugs 
you know, I'm not really buying mugs anymore unless they're really good Starbucks. Haven't found any in a while. I'm just trying to blow through those mugs. What else do I got up here? Oh, nothing up there. Oh, my Wonder Woman VHS tapes. And then over here I still have my hats and some t-shirts. All oh, hopefully I'll blow through those out so I can get those out of here as well. So that's how I got things organized here. That's my workflow. Bring in from thrift stores, garage sales. Goes FBA, it gets the FBA sticker package, goes in the tub there for FBA, eBay, photograph, listed, goes into a box, and then I'll jump on my computer here and show you where I list on eBay where it's at. Okay, welcome back. Here we are on my computer, and this is my eBay, and what I do is I have a store, and I actually have a premium store. I think you can do this in a basic store as well. Um, I use the Seller Manager Pro, I think, and don't quote me on this, in the basic store you have Seller Manager, which you can still do the same thing. And what you do is, um, I'll click on Active here, and I usually have a tab here for listing when I list my item. And then I have this tab here set up on my Seller Pro, and I'll just refresh it after I've listed a couple items. And then it'll show me my latest listed items here. Now, I guess I'll have to, you have this custom label here. You have to activate it. Go to Customize up here. And then you'll see Custom Label here. And you'll want to click that off so it will start to show up and then you you can actually arrange your columns here however you'd like to view it. So I have mine done here and I'm going to hit cancel. And so I have my custom labels here. And let me scroll down and see if I can find something that I have actually a label on. Like right here. I have all my kitchen parts, my appliance parts basically in my G box. But all you're going to do is here is click add and input what box, what tub, what location. I even put the location, plus if I have it cross-listed on Amazon, I write Amazon on there, so it reminds me to go remove it from Amazon if it's sold here on eBay. So you just add it in there, and then click Save. Real easy. And then it won't show now because I'm all caught up in shipping, but in the morning, I'll click Awaiting Shipment here. It will show me all the items I have waiting to be shipped. And then right here it will say Custom Label. Now I used to customize again because I wanted um, the picture of the item so I kind of know what it is. And then the rest of the stuff I don't really care about. My note is I'll show you in a minute where that's at. And then the Custom Label. So I have all my items ready for shipment, picture of the item, and custom label where it is so I can go grab that item. So what I'll do is I'll go grab all the items, get them out, put them on one of my tables, and then I'll start shipping the items out. Now if you don't have a store, let me go here. Yeah, a lot of booms going off. I don't know if the airbase is doing something here. Let me go to my eBay. If you don't have a store, this is what I've shown in a previous video, what I used to do, is you can go to More Actions here, and you can go Add Note, and then you can just put the location, I'm going to put Hat Box, because that's where these are at, and it will show up right here, Hat Box. It will show up the same thing when you get ready to ship item. And you go to your Sold Listing. Or if you go, uh, you'll have it here, you'll say, you'll say awaiting shipment. You'll click it. I'll just click the payment page here. And the note will show up here in a yellow highlighter where your item's located at. So you can go grab it. The only problem with doing it by note is if you do, if your listing ends and you do a sell similar or relist, that note will not carry over. You have to re-enter your note. 
So it's kind of a, can be a pain in the ass. Whereas if you do that in your Seller Pro, it does carry over. When you do a cell similar. So that's it in a nutshell, how I organize my inventory. Um, here you can see here, it also shows here when you do your note. But again, that does not carry over when you resell sell similar or relist. So, again, that's how I organize everything. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me below in the comments. Send me a note or whatever. Don't forget to list, like, or subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.